my name is Kelly Garrett, and I'm a fourth year clinical psychology PhD student at Howard University. I also have some experience working in the community in Alexandria, specifically working with first responders. Um, these individuals, as you all may know, experience a lot of stress on the job, um, just dealing with difficult challenges in the community. And I've been able to just provide them some different tips to help them cope through the challenges that they experience. And I'm hoping that some of the tips that I've provided to them can also help you all during this holiday season. Now, the holiday season is typically seen as a joyous time, um, celebrating, sharing gifts with family and friends, and even getting meals. However, the holidays can also be really challenging, especially if you've lost a loved one, you're having challenges at your job, or if you're just really coming down on hard times. Now, if this is the case for you, I just want to take the time to share a couple of tips that can help you to cope with the stress of the season. The first tip I want to provide you all with is to be okay with creating your own traditions. Oftentimes, there's these expectations for how the holidays should be. And we get caught up in what our family wants us to do, what our friends want us to do, whether it be being happy and merry and participating in all the typical season events. I want to let you know that it is totally okay to step away from these typical ways of celebrating. Know that you don't have to force yourself to do anything that you don't feel like doing, especially if it's going to lead you to feeling worse. Another tip I want to provide you all with is to take time for yourself to engage in self-care. Now, what does self-care look like for you? Think about what makes you feel happy, energized, or even calm. Whether that looks like reading a book, doing meditation, watching a favorite TV show, or even just sleeping. You know, the holidays can be a stressful period, and it's important to take the time to pour into yourself and what your needs are. The last tip I'll give you all is to just feel entitled to how you feel during this time. If you feel sad because you just lost a loved one, that's okay. If you're upset because you're having some issues at your job or having some challenges in a relationship, that is okay and you are entitled to feel however you feel. It may be even helpful to spend time with friends or family who share the same sentiments as you do so that you're able to acknowledge these feelings for what they are and know that you're not alone in feeling that way. Again, don't force yourself to be in the holiday spirit and feel something that you don't want to feel. All right, now I'm hoping that these tips can help you all during this season. Um, I'm hoping that you all stay safe and are able to celebrate the holiday in a way that you so choose to. All right, thank you.